a new year may bring new opportunities to the mm -hmm. Wabash Valley. Local officials are hoping for an economic boom in the area after several tough years. So what's changing and why do they believe 2011 may bring some good news to the valley? News 10's Amanda Jarrett joins us now live in the newsroom with the answers in tonight's Economy Watch 10. Amanda? Mark Patrice, we've reported on many businesses and layoffs happening in 2010, but could 2011 be a turning point following the recession? The Redevelopment Commission is taking steps to make that happen. They formed a committee with five other Valley counties to form Accelerate West Central Indiana Economic Development. The group plans to market this area and bring in big business. They'll be hosting meetings and trying to draw people in. They say the 641 bypass will definitely help sell the area. Steve Witt says November and December brought a lot of inquiries into the old Pfizer facility and other areas. Companies out looking uh, to, to make capital investments either in uh, expansion of existing facilities or, or looking at, at new manufacturing sites. And, and uh, that encourages us a great deal because uh, with, with that type of activity, then other parts of the economy are going to see some growth as well. Now, what says the more companies and big business that moves into the area, that means more retailers for us, which is good news. And it's been getting a lot of buzz here on our Facebook page. Over 160 comments here. Now, of course, many folks saying they'd like to see good-paying jobs, but the number one is a Target store as well as Home Depot. Of course, only time will tell about what will happen here in 2011. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Jarrett, News 10. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Amanda. Now, we want to hear from you. What businesses or retailers would you like to see move into the area? Leave your comments on our Facebook page.